Hi friends, I hope you can hear me and you can see me. I hope the lightings are fine and well and good. I am here to talk about my artist journey. Girl, it's been a very, 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 very long time coming and I just want to start documenting my my way to art school. I want to document my way through art school. I want to document my journey just as an artist. It's been a challenge. <laughs> I think getting even to the point of believing that I was an artist a whole journey by itself like we can unpack that another time um, because that was really hard for me it was really hard to acknowledge that I was an artist even if it did not demonstrate itself in the form of painting or the form of poetry like the way that I think and the way that I operate the way that I do things like I did not see that as manifesting art i did not see a lot of things that i do which is very artistic as being an artist and that was a whole journey but now i am very excited to like embark on a much more purposeful and a much more intentional pursuit to expressing myself artistically and learning how to use mediums and express different things. I have so much like stories that I want to tell and I have so much like connection things that I want to like express and I could visualize the best way I can do that is true art and like if you were to ask me what is your purpose like i would say is to build community around art or build a community that like can see themselves if you were meant to ask me like what is the dream opportunity in relation to like pursuing art i would love a situation where i can like be one exposed to all of the mediums in a playful way i was introduced to pottery by my good friend Vivian as her assistant and like it was like an exchange I content created for her and I got to experience one of her classes and like in experiencing her class I was like oh my god I want to do this with this and I want to talk about this topic with this medium and I got more into it to the point where I started almost teaching some of her classes with her because like i was so into it and well i'm just artistically inclined i would like more opportunities like that where whether it be woodworking welding charcoal art history like i i really want to open myself up and be available for more of those opportunities to experience see what i like see what i don't you know just like dibble dabble all around before i commit to a specific art like program she gets some water let's pause i had to take a food break because i was hungry <laughs> if you watch the footage from before and now you'll see a difference <laughs> One was hangry and the other one was fueled and ready to like communicate. I'm in a really interesting place in just trying to figure out how to move forward. And I think it's been very challenging to foreshadow that because like I just don't know how opportunities are going to roll themselves out. Um, and like right now, I mean, I love what I have. I'm very content with where I'm at. And like my general life, like I get by. <laughs> um, and so it's been a challenge trying to one foreshadow when I might take on much more greater learning opportunities. And for perspective, I am trying to <laughs> I'm trying to experience learning art in a different context. I know I can pursue art schools here. I'm a girlie that really trying to travel. 
and I think it will be a great mesh of the both like I get to expand my knowledge and learn how to use different mediums to then bring it back into the context where I would love to produce the work so it's kind of like a sabbatical that's an interesting way to look at it it's like I take a break and go learn how to use the tools better and use the tools better to express and come back into the context in which I would love to produce a body of work that you know talks about topics such as being queer in the Caribbean my brain just like expands every time I want to talk about like art and things that I would love to express and then it does this thing where it doesn't know where to start so one of the biggest things for me I would love to explore how colonialism in relation to homophobia and like the black communities in Trinidad that is like really huge it's a big deal for me because I like I grew up in Laventil it was not like a great experience in understanding that I could like be queer and black in the same body <laughs> because there's so much music and different like ways in which our culture in Laventil or in Trinidad even how it paints being queer being different or being a homosexual I am homosexual <laughs> um, so I would really love to with the use of art and th we're talking all the mediums I and this is why it's gonna take me a while to find a program that would really help me develop myself in a holistic way with a project like that I would love to write a piece on it whether it be poetry or I would love to produce like short documentary on it where I might even find like some queer people that live in Laventil and like it looks different to them like what queer looks on me might look absolutely different than someone else because they have different coping mechanisms with like the environment coupling the environment with like their own expression so it might take the form of a short documentary it might take the form of a produced like shoot um, it might take the form of a clay body and currently I'm like learning how to build clay bodies and it would be really nice to be able to tell these stories be able to explore these stories and I would love the opportunity to like do that recently I am just like dusting today I cleaned my art station I almost call it a cub <laughs> a little I'll show you my little art shrine. I cleaned it today. I cleaned all my tools and I organized things, changed things around. And I am very happy with how it looks now and what I have to work with. All of it is the cheapest of the cheap. I'm doing acrylics, well, trying at least. And so it's cheap acrylic, like it's bad. <laughs> It's really bad. And uh, you know, my brushes, uh, like art supplies are just so expensive. Everything that relates to art is so expensive, which is why art is expensive because to even take the time to learn how to do or work with mediums or finding expressions or like it's a lot of time and it's a lot of money. It's a lot of exploring um, to get to that point where you can do those things. So I respect all of the artists out there that are doing the thing <laughs> and making it happen. So I just wanted to share this part of me and it's kind of selfish in that I just also want to see like myself transition or just like where I started and where I'm going. So this video is just going to like show a lot of that. Also, one of my friends and I, we are doing this not challenge it's not really a challenge i suppose it is challenging but we both like were on a call and you know i was just telling her that you know i really want to do art and 
I'm l- like trying to find scholarships and I'm trying to like do the thing and you know I like work so hard to get like those very cheap art supplies but I still have not done it I have time to do it I have space for it but I still have not produced anything like where 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 is your <laughs> where was my physical manifestations of what I want to do it was non-existent and so you know she was experiencing the same thing she's like last time I produced something that I liked was in 2019 we're in 2024 what also for me the last time I did like an exhibition and that was of old work with uh, my ex-roommate Daniel and we sold a couple of pieces that I did in 2019 so (laughs) the last time I was a part of like a process of creating art that was sold <laughs> was also in 2019 because that was that was one of my first exhibition with my friend Luigi in Napa and some of it got sold and I got copies um, which were my personal pieces in which I then sold to be able to go to London to also explore like art and modeling and like just see what was possible so now I have nothing <laughs> so I would love to document like all of my art projects because I want to get back into coming up with concepts and like doing shoots, making prints, um, doing more clay bodies and trying more uh, acrylics. So this is like my intro video. I'm not sure what else you're going to see in it, but welcome to my journey and I hope you're enjoying it. If you want to see more of like me and my experience like as an artist or as a content creator or like I like to say that I am an artist in all the sense of the word because like for me that is how I feel and I am all of it and so if you're just signing up for me welcome feel free to like and subscribe share it with someone that might or like this journey share it with fellow artists i would love to connect with more artists in all of the sense of the word and you know create a nice little community of just like support and you know just like to just know that you're not alone in your journey wherever you are in relation to producing art so I thought it would be nice to just get it started, rip the bandit off, and like let's get into it. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you back very soon. Hold me accountable. Like ask to see things because things should be making. It's been a long time coming and I just want to get back my hands dirty again. And this time it's with clay. So thank you and bye. I love you. And I think you're I think you're incredible. I think you're strong. I think you are worthy of whatever you're desiring and it is not unreasonable. And I hope that you see and understand and accept that. The things that you want, the things that you're working towards, even if you can't like visualize it or see it or have an actionable plan. Oh my God, I'm talking to myself. If you don't have an actionable plan, just know that you are worthy of it and it's coming your way. It is coming your way. Oops. It's coming your way and just do what you're doing and it will it'll be in your lap in no seconds so 